Hello everyone, this is Adam Provost from Nutanix. In this video, we're going to spend a few minutes configuring our Pulse phone home service from within Prism Central. The first thing that we're going to do is navigate to our bump out, go to Prism Central settings, and then scroll down until we get to our Pulse configuration. And so by default, Pulse is enabled. Uh, you have the ability to, when you're actually doing your cluster creation, the first time you log in, you can disable this. Uh, during software upgrades, you will notice that you're asked uh, if you wanna keep Pulse enabled. Uh, we do that for security reasons, and we wanna make sure that customers understand that they have choices. So by default, Pulse is enabled. Uh, and what you'll see here is that the Pulse connection status says success. So I wanna take a moment and kind of break out what is Pulse? And so if we look at it in general, uh, it's simply a phone home service for the cluster itself. What are we sending? We're sending uh, basically support logs. Uh, we're sending um, incorrectly configured CVMs. Maybe there's a hardware defect. Um, cases are auto-created. Uh, maybe you have something configured incorrectly and it's performing poorly uh, at the container level or at the VM level. We actually have the ability to send those statistics back to Nutanix so that we'll automatically create Nutanix support tickets for you. When you're doing pulse enablement, what you'll find is we've created this uh, decision tree. So if you're running greater than 5.8, yes, do you need a proxy to access the web? Yes, then you would set up a proxy within Prism Central. Uh, and then on the firewall, you would make sure that insights.nutanix.com over 443 is reachable. If you do not need a proxy, just make sure that the Prism Central IP address, and if you're running a scale out Prism Central, you need to make sure that all of the IPs from within all of your Prism Centrals are able to reach insights.nutanix.com. Pulse is an incredibly valuable service. Uh, as we've added in the Insights Customer Portal, you now can log in as a customer and you can see within the Support Portal clusters that are registered to you. And in one place, you'll be able to see multiple clusters, uh, any sort of support remediation, uh, vulnerability CVEs, things that are still running uh, in your environment. And the the goal in the design here is to fuse support operations uh, and uh, managerial tasks into one place for you. Pulse is really the lever that makes that happen. So this has been how to configure Pulse within Nutanix Prism Central. Thanks. Have a great day.